Hey everyone, I thought it was important to take a couple quick seconds to clarify something that was mentioned at the staff meeting yesterday, and that was when we were talking about the budget. We had said that, or it was stated that, you know, special education is one of the reasons that the budget is up this year. And what I wanted to make sure we did was be really clear about what that means and what that looks like. You see, we have some fantastic special education teachers here at Whitman Hanson Regional High School, and they do their best to help students the best they can. What it means that our budget is up because of special education this year has no reflection on what we're doing as far as IEPs and so forth here at the school or how many students run IEPs. What that raise comes from is the idea of students being placed out. And so when a student gets placed out because they can't get the services they need to make effective progress in the classrooms here, they get placed out of the school district and that's what the expensive part is. You see, when they get placed out, you not only have the expense of the outside agency that they go to, you have the expense of transportation and so forth and different things like that. So what happens is when we're servicing students and making sure they're making effective progress, this bumps up against, and this is special education that bumps up against this a lot, this bumps up against those unfunded mandates that we were talking about. You see, there's certain things we have to do for students and rightfully so to help those students be successful in school. But when we can't meet their needs here, that's when they need to get placed out. So only, and I really want to be very clear about this, only after we have done everything for them we can here, after we've expended all our effort, after we've written the best IEPs, after we've supported them to the best of our ability, and we can't help them make effective progress, that's when they get put out, and that's when it costs some extra money. So just to be clear, it's not that our special education department is at fault or on the hook or anything like that for this. In fact, our special education department here at the high school works so hard that they, um, in a way, save us money because they make sure the kids get serviced here to the fullest extent possible before having to place them out. I just want to be really clear about that because here's the danger of conversations like that. It's really important that we have them, but the danger being exactly what we spoke about in the faculty meeting, the idea that when the politics get involved, the best thing, the people that want what they want, the best thing they can do is to pit department against department, fire against police, against education, all those people against each other when they start arguing then it becomes who gets what at the expense of another instead of everybody getting what they need the last thing i would want to see happen here and the reason i'm trying to be so transparent with you is because we can't have our departments internally doing the same thing we can't have one department looking at another saying this is because of you and then trying to get more for themselves at the expense of another or even worse blaming or looking down on them so I hope this was helpful. Please remember, if you have any questions, please come to me and ask. I'd be more than willing to, to answer them, but know that our special education department works really hard. Know that they are actually helping keep costs down by doing as much as possible for students here that they can before they get placed out. This has to do with unfunded mandates and special education having to meet those rather than what's going on within our own building. Thanks a lot, and I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Have a good one.